Wow. With all that you are facing at this minute, <laughs> you may have thought for a minute, in fact, the devil may want you to believe for a minute that God has forgotten you. <laughs> but that is one of the biggest lies from the pit of hell. God is saying to you today, my friend, you may have forgotten, but I, your God, I have not forgotten you, my precious daughter and my precious son. I have not forgotten you. And today, regardless of what you face and the lies that the enemy is saying about your situation, let's go back to the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. It says, God heard their groaning and he remembered his covenant with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. So God looked down on the Israelites and was concerned about them. Hallelujah. Do you believe that God is concerned about your situation today? My goodness, the trials that you're going through, the tribulation, the testings, the need that you have, the breakthrough that you want to see happen. Breakthrough in your job, breakthrough in your marriage, breakthrough in your relationship, breakthrough in your circumstances, breakthrough with your children. My goodness, your health. <laughs> God did not forget the Israelites. Yes, it was centuries, <laughs> over 400 years. That's a long time. Yes, they may have thought that God had forgotten them. It's normal. Sometimes when you're going through stuff and it's so long, the enemy comes in and he tells you, hey, God has forgotten you. Oh, what a life from the pit of hell. Yes, the enemy may come in and he may try to usurp God's plans for your life. But I want to tell you today that God is saying to you that he has not forgotten you. And the good news is he is concerned about your circumstances. You see, when God is concerned about your circumstances, you can rest assured that your breakthrough is coming. I can bet the Israelites thought for a minute that, oh my goodness, you know, I've heard about this great God and how many things he has done in the past, my ancestors. And here we are in, oh my God, Egypt suffering. And we have been growing and praying. And oh my God, we're waiting centuries. <laughs> yes, today. God has not forgotten you. So guess what? Don't give up. Don't give up those pearls. Don't give up believing. Don't give up trusting. Don't give up on your reliance upon God because he has not forgotten you. He remembered every single promise that he has made over your life. He remembers every single promise. So today, I want to say to you that God has not forgotten you. It may seem like you've been going through this for a long time, but he has not forgotten you. Every single promise that he has made to you, he shall fulfill them. God told Abraham, your descendants will go down to Egypt and they will suffer there for a time, but I will bring them out. And didn't he do it? Yes, he did it. Why? He has not forgotten 
is promised to Abraham. So do you believe then, if God did not forget his promise to Abraham, would he forget his promise to you? I want you today to look at the promises that God has made you as his child. Every single thing that God has told you that he will do for you. Look in his words. Yes, you may be going through something and you may be wondering, my goodness, whoa, God, you have forgotten me in this. You've forgotten my prayers, my desires. No, he is not. He's concerned about you today. And he sent me to tell you that it may seem like it has been a long time. And you may be waiting for a very long time. And the burden seems to be still heavy. But he has not forgotten you. My goodness, he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt in fine style. Miracles, signs, and wonder. Oh my goodness, today I feel it in my spirit. You shall see miracles, signs, and wonder. Just watch what God is going to do in your circumstances because you continue to groan and to pray and to moan and to call upon him. My goodness, the Bible said this poor man cried and the Lord heard him. That's the God who you serve, the God of compassion. The God who cares about his creation. And moreover, you are a child of God. He cares about you. And he wants you today to know, don't give up. Don't lose your hope. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose your confidence. Don't lose your trust. Don't lose your reliance, whatever it is that you are waiting on God for. Remember this today. He has not forgotten you. He has heard all those prayers. He has seen all those tears. Yes, he heard all those cries. And your breakthrough is at hand. But you have to believe that God has not forgotten you and you be, have to believe that he's working things out for you and you have to stand in faith and you must stand in trust and you must believe that the God of the impossible, regardless of how impossible your situation is, you must believe that nothing Absolutely nothing is too hard for the God that you serve. Will you believe that today? Will you stand on his promises today that he has not forgotten you and that he is concerned about you? And believe you me, his grace is sufficient for you. So while you wait on God, never give up your hope, and your trust in him because he will certainly deliver and he will certainly bring through every single thing that he promised you. God bless you this week. Keep trusting. Don't listen to the lies of the deceiver. Don't you listen to him when he comes with his lies. Remember to use the words of God against him. God is concerned about me. God has not forgotten me. And God will see me through. And my breakthrough is right here. I'm going to grab hold of it and I'm going to run with it because the God I serve has not forgotten me. So may God bless you this week. Have yourself a wonderful week and please do join me next week for a brand new video and be encouraged. Hallelujah. God has not
got to you.